the, everybody was telling me about websites in commercials. Radio stations were telling me about their websites. Everybody wants a www me, and I'm tired of it. They either, either that or they want to give they want to they want to give me tickets to something. I don't want to win anything. I don't want to know about limited time only uh, sales going on over the weekend. And I don't want to hear from www. I'm sorry. You have a website. I'm just a cranky guy. You have a website. I'm not going to inflict that address on the rest of the world. Okay. though. I, I hope nobody visits the website. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. You could give out the wrong. Address. I don't care. You don't I care. just don't care. Triple strength odor free capsaicin HP. Use as directed. Here, have you had enough? You had enough commercials? <laughs> huh? No. You want more? No. You want more? No. Here, Friday night, September 27th. Yeah. Yeah. The whole day, 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 the whole do you think they would let me do that if I if I went to them and and proposed that uh, we just play all the commercials at once? No. <laughs> TV guys, 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 my audience is hip enough to distinguish. You know, mm. we have we have brains that are capable of uh, separating. They have some fun. Okay. No. All right. We're not allowed to play all the commercials. The music industry. And the ongoing oversimplification of what it means to respect the intelligence of listeners and the value of his DJs caused Vin to leave K-Rock when it decided to change its format. WNEW New York, Infinity Broadcasting. Quality, Quality Rock lives at 102.7 New York. Wednesday News Time 537. This is Howard Liberman in the WINS Newsroom. If you remember FM radio without playlists, then you're going to want to tune in to WNEW FM Sunday nights from 8 till 2 a.m. Ben Skells has been doing a show called Idiot's Delight at K Rock since 1985. That show moving to 1027. Skells have worked at NEW FM until 1982 when he refused to use a playlist and quit. Ben says Idiot's Delight is a free flowing mix of music, monologue, and interview. Doing my show is kind of like inviting people over to my house. And, uh, and it's like, all right, let's listen to this, let's listen to that, let's listen to the other thing. There's, there's very little that's actually pre planned, although sometimes it is. Um, but it's a real free association kind of thing. One track leads into another by some sort of magical, um, ephemeral process. Ben Skelza back on NEW Sunday nights from 8 till 2. Howard Liberman, 1010 Wins News. After leaving K-Rock, Vin went home to WNEW, where he had worked earlier in his career. The homecoming gave hope to listeners that DJs like Skelsa and P4 Natel, along with other voices of early rock radio, like Dennis Elsis and Pat St. John, might still yet change the world with the power of their shared love for music. The problem was that the company that owned K-Rock was claiming, or would claim, he was told, uh, Idiot's Delight as its intellectual property. So Vin didn't know what to do. For a while, it was Vin Skelsa's Sunday night. And by the end of 96, the company that owned uh, K-Rock merged with the company that owned WNEW and it was Idiot's Delight again because the, obviously the same company now owned that. Uh, Vin, I think, subsequently on the advice of lawyers, actually took out a trademark for Vin Skelsa's Idiot's Delight, and so that's not an issue anymore. Those are the rules. Right. This is the show. And the show is called Idiot's Delight. I'm Vin Skelsa. This is WNEW FM in New York. Dear listener out there in Radio Land, are listening to Idiot's Delight here on uh, WNEW. With me, Vin Skelsa, we do this each and every Sunday night. Travel down some different roads. I'm glad to have you out there. Doesn't work without you, even though I know that I often seem like I don't care. <laughs> there's, a, there's different levels of caring. I care on a very symbolic existential level 
Just because I don't, just because I don't pick up the phone and take requests, you know, doesn't mean I don't care. It doesn't mean I don't appreciate your presence on the receiving end. But see, I figure the listener to this show is a listener in much the same way that I, for many years, was a listener to radio. That is a sort of uh, a singular being that listens in a kind of um, what? I, not passive. Passive is not the word. It's a, 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 a being who listens in a sort of emotional kind of context that's very personal and very private. That's what this radio is all about. This is a sort of a free-form radio show here on Sunday nights, late Sunday nights into the wee hours. For those of you who may have never tuned in before. And are discovering us for the very first time. Welcome. 1027 WNEW New York, where rock lives. The dreams were short-lived when WNEW changed its format in 2001, putting to rest forever the last vestiges of rock music having a home in New York. Actually, uh, I announced it on my, my internet show, Live at Lunch, and then uh, a couple of the newspapers picked up on it, Daily News and uh, Newsday, that uh, I will not be renewing my contract, nor will the station, Come the end of January. It's a mutual agreement comprised of uh, economics on the part of the station and esoterics on the part of me. And I asked if I could do my last show on New Year's Eve, December 31st, into 2001. And Jeremy Coleman, the program director, said that was perfectly all right with him. So that's what we'll do. We'll do tonight, and then we'll do next Sunday night. And then we'll be gone. Vince Gelsen's Idiot's Delight. Saturday night from 8 until midnight right here at 90.7 WFUV. Vin turned to WFUV at Fordham University in 2001 where, through the insights and wisdom of music director Rita Houston, a longtime protege and fan of Vin's style of broadcasting, Idiot's Delight continues to inspire and enchant its many listeners. <laughs> 